Uh, hole 12, and uh, sorry after I stopped after hole 10 yesterday. <coughs> I did hole 11, but I had to go out after that, but uh, never mind. Onwards and upwards. Uh, right, hole 12, elevation for the drive 10%, and approach 10%. Uh, need a power five ball for this for definite. Uh, two replays, one with a circle and one with another P5 ball, but with more wind resistant. So the drive, basically start with a power three ball. Here I started with the Titan. <coughs> Max distance, white at the rough on the right. Max top two left. Then swap ball to a Zerk or whatever. And just basically adjust and make sure you hit perfect because the drive is important on this one. As well as on hole five. As you can see with the uh, nearly up uh, into OP, but not quite. And that's 7.8 wind as well, so. Perfect shot. One I started with a <coughs> started with a P5 wind three ball. Well, started with a kingmaker because <coughs> the same wind resistant three, and then uh, basically added max top two left, swap to this ball fifth anniversary ball, and again adjust ten percent max and just hit perfect. Shot. So you can see it can vary from about 370 to 380 yards, but I'll just show you the one approach shot. Because <coughs> I didn't hit, hit great on the other one, but it was still safe. The main thing is to make sure you don't lose your eagle on this one because it is tough with the headwind. As <coughs> so you can see here, about 380 yards, it's like min distance, so which is what played here min. Now, make sure the second bounce is past the rough. Right, otherwise, you're liable to hit the rough if it's too too near. You see, it's too near the rough there, so I'll move it up. Ball guide just to the hole. Well, I've got it to the left there because it does roll to the right, <coughs> as you'll see. So I would offset um, a little bit to the left, but do make sure that second bounce is, as I says, well enough away from the rough. Perfect shot. Never know on the lucky day, Cookie. Nice arm. 